Okay, so hi, welcome back. Uh, my name is Dev Raj, and today I'm very excited to be joined by Abby uh, over in the UK. And uh, we're going to talk about the workshop that we're running in June at Show Leela in Dorset. It's about two hours west of London in the UK. We're running a three day workshop called Body Based Therapy. Uh, from Thursday night through till Sunday afternoon. And it's a very exciting opportunity just to really get into some bioenergetics and other body-based therapy. So how this is going to go is Abby's going to ask me some questions. Uh, I'll answer, I'll ask her some questions, and hopefully you'll get lots of information about this workshop. Okay, over to you. Okay, thank you, Dev. Um, so yeah, my name is Abby, and maybe I'll talk about myself a little bit later on. I just would like maybe if you want to introduce yourself very briefly, like what's your your journey as a bioenergetics therapist, um, and how do you get to become a group leader? Well, um, basically about 25 years ago, I decided that I really wanted to change my life because I was just a bit of a druggy, waster, criminal type in my late 30s, living in London. And I searched around for some quite radical therapy. I was doing kind of regular psychotherapy and group therapy, but it was a bit light. And then what I I came across the Osho people, and uh, I ended up doing a lot of work at a place called Humaniversity in Holland, a very intense group therapy. And I ended up training to be a, a group therapist there. And then when I came out, uh, I wanted to work a bit in cities. I mean, I'd been living in a spiritual community a long time as well, which gave me a lot of chance to practice and develop techniques. And I got, although I'd originally trained more in group therapy and emotional expression, I got very interested in bioenergetics and working with the body because, I mean, basically because it was doing me so much good. Um, so I ended up basically just starting a YouTube channel in the middle of the 2010s, uh, putting out the knowledge I had and then just running more and more workshops on bio and breath work and and slowly developing my own techniques and and drawing in techniques from different traditions that I felt I resonated with, but also keeping it pretty tight and, you know, into real body-based therapy stuff. And so, you know, I don't have a formal qualification in psychology. Uh, you know, I trained in group therapy and then I shifted to, to bioenergetics and worked mostly with 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 groups but i do do one-to-one -one work in fact i've done a lot more one-to-one -one work over the last few years uh, i also develop my work a lot around reiki and character structure which gives people like and myself like a kind of uh, a framework through which you can understand your childhood through which you can understand your behavior particularly your behavior in relationships how okay. about you Abby? could uh introduce okay. yourself um Thank you very much. Yeah, sure. So my name is Abby. Uh, I live um, at Oshulila, which is a meditation center and a personal development center in Dorset um, that you used to direct. So I met you here in Oshulila. And um, my journey, my journey with, with body-based therapy and we and with therapy in general started not long ago, like in 2015, I started to realize that I needed to change something in my life. I, I felt quite stuck with my life and not really happy with what, what I was doing. I didn't feel fulfilled. And I started to do, um, I started with talking therapy, actually. And then after a while, I started to realize that... Um, I wasn't doing much progress. I wasn't really, I wasn't understanding with my mind a lot of like patterns that I was falling onto repeatedly, but it was really hard for me just with talking therapy to overcome these patterns, to kind of find a way and tools that will help me to not to repeat these patterns over and over again. That when I, healthy for me so it was only when I started to go to a bioenergetics therapist actually a very kind of classic official Alexander Lowen um, bioenergetics that I started to something started to shift I was able to work on myself not anymore on my 
mind with my mind using what I could understood about my behavioral pattern, but I was able to get in touch more with the stuck emotionality in the body and from that start to see how to release this charge, how to release this um, sense of stuckness of uh, not um, not free flow of energy in my life and in my and in my body. So that was a great shift for me. And from that, I started to, bioenergetics started to become my main practice. And when I moved to the UK, I moved to Lila and um, I did a lot of classes with you and other therapists uh, online. And, um, and slowly, slowly, I start to, um, you know, feeling like, oh, I really want to share this with other people. I really, I really feel that that will be beneficial because it helped me a lot. And I started to give class here at Lila, to be, give class online and one to one session online. So, um, yeah, that's a bit my journey. And um, I'm, I'm still learning, you know, I'm still learning what. Um, what I can offer, what I still have to learn about being with a group, uh, helping other people, supporting other people. But uh, it's, it is my passion. It's my passion. And I can see the benefit that my life, there are so, uh, so many that um, that's what, what brought me to wanting to share with, with others, basically. And also I got you know, an official certification uh, as a bioenergetic practitioner. I'm not a therapist, but maybe in the future I will be. But uh, so far, you know, I ha I'm officially certified as a practitioner. And um, yeah, very happy to share with other people. Mm, cool. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, do you have any questions about what, what about this workshop? Yeah. We told yeah, I mean, I think that would be nice to let people know it's like um, what you're offering, what we are offering, like what's, uh, what what include this workshop. Um, I know that um, you, you wanted to have a, a theoretical part and a practical part as well so working parallelly parallelly with with these two uh tools so maybe you want to uh, say a bit more about that and how do you see the structure could help um people in that in that regard yeah sure i mean um the workshop starts on thursday night so you know there'll be food usually about seven o'clock and then we meet about 8 30 and, you know, we'll introduce the workshop, the two of us, and everyone will have a chance just to share their name and if there's anything particularly that they want to work on this weekend, because it helps to put it out if there is something. And then we'll do some, you know, lightweight or what we would consider perhaps lightweight, you know, some dancing, some shaking, some body movement, gibberish, something for an hour or two, just to really start to bring people into a slightly altered state of being more inside the body. Uh, then the evening will finish and we'll start again in the morning. Seven o'clock will be some morning meditation, maybe belly breathing workout, uh, something like that, followed by showers and breakfast. And then we meet, and, and this will be the same set, uh, for, so that's for Friday. Friday and Saturday will have roughly the same kind of bare bones schedule. Uh, so then after breakfast, uh, we'll meet in the group room and I'll, I'll, do, I'll give some theory out you know, basically about body-based therapy and why it's so useful to work with the body in therapy, why just working with the mind leaves most people feeling considerably unfinished, you know, and and and, and explain it, you know, about why charge gets held inside our body, how to start to release it, this kind of thing. And if we get the charge out, then we're no longer hardwired into certain behaviours that maybe, you know, we somewhere know they're not good for us, but we can't seem to break them. Uh, so it'll be some theory and time for questions as well. And then we'll have a little break and we'll do some kind of physical body-based session before lunch. And then we'll have a decent-sized lunch break. 
uh, and meet back again, maybe sometime like 3.30. And uh, there may be a circle sharing. We'll see how many people are in the workshop. We might have to split it into two. And then we'll do a much deeper, heavier session, you know, really getting into some stuff before dinner for about two or three hours, basically. A nice deep body-based session where it really, you know, you, we get right into the body and the muscle system and start to move something. Uh, then it'll be dinner. And uh, then we'll meet back about 8.30. And we'll do something gentle to complete the day, you know, some more meditative practice or something gentle that you do with each other. And, you know, we'll round that off to make that a nice day in the evening. Usually there after the, the sessions are finished, you know, it's usually an option to hang out a little bit, have a cup of tea. It's possible we open the bar. We'll see. Or the uh, sauna could be on so it can hang out in the sauna a bit. And then Saturday we'll repeat the same kind of uh, the same kind of way, you know sessions with breath work or sessions with bioenergetics chance to share a chance to learn and a chance to ask questions you know theoretical questions or more personal questions about your own process and sunday will be you know we'll do something quite big in the mornings and then the workshop will we'll, there'll be lunch and then we'll meet back in the afternoon just to close and round off and finish everything off and make sure you know everyone's leaving feeling in a really good space so you know, it'll be a it'll be a weekend. We used to call weekends like the washing machine when you're going into this deep process to really move something from the body. But there'll also be theory in there. It'll have washing machine aspect to it, but which is good, you know, because if you work with the, the blocks in the body are kind of underneath our thinking mind, our personality, you know. And if if we can get those out, sometimes we feel a little disorientated for a while, but then you know we realize we're much clearer, stronger, more grounded, and more open afterwards. So that's the kind of structure, you know, I haven't planned out, we haven't planned out actual exercises yet, but that always manifests as we go along. Yeah, yeah. Well, that sounds great. Thank you very much for sharing that. And uh, yeah, I agree. It's going to be a deep journey and three days, I think, is the right, is the right amount of time that uh, we need to really get uh, get into the um yeah the depth of working with the body and slowly slowly building it up widening up our capacity to feel and to connect with the body i think you need that 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 amount of time at least you know and i think that will be great um you know as an outcome that people can um you know cultivate that practice in their day-to-day -day life, maybe, you know, finding and seeing how beneficial it would be for them to energize their body, to start to see that the energy start to flow more in their body, in their life, you know, that they are more clear, clearing out whatever's been, you know, stuck and repressed. And uh, you can feel more alive and, uh, you know, the sense of aliveness that you can get from working for three days deeply on that on on that type of body based therapy. You know, it can give you that uh, stimulation that we might need sometimes to actually decide, yes, I'm going to do this. You know, I'm going to I'm going to make it my own practice. I'm going to carry on with this because I can see how beneficial it is for me, for my for the level of my energy, for my vitality, for, you know, being proactive and and, um, and move forward. So. I think, uh, yeah, I'm very excited, very excited. Lots of things. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah maybe three days. It's great that you mentioned like energy and vitality because that's, you know, I mean, that's really my, my my take these days. It's very easy to get lost in all the stories, and it's important to investigate the stories of our childhood and that kind of thing if we're drawn to. But when you look at people who have a life that they want or they can get it really inside themselves and create, you know, deep, amazing relationships or whatever they want to do. A lot of it comes down to energy. And actually everyone, whether they think it or not, has a lot of energy. But there's just that there are blocks that we have picked up along the way. You know, we might constantly be facing a certain hurdle in a relationship or in life, in, in work with maybe we have ambition, but we can't really seem to get there somehow. When you really put it's easy to go into all the psychology and that can be useful. But when you really pull it apart, a lot of it is down to energy. 
because if you have enough energy in your system that's flowing and trying to move you forwards, you know, your drive is high. And that drive won't allow you to, to take second best for yourself. It'll keep moving you forwards and pushing you forwards, pushing you to take new risks, giving you the energy you need. So these and, it, and, and, and the blocks, you know, the blocks to this are not cerebral. They're not cerebral blocks. The blocks are held in your energy system, in your body. And so body. developing a practice, you know, over these days, because we'll give you a practice at the end that you can take away if you want to, to do on a daily basis as well. But the sessions that we do will unblock a lot of energy. So your energy starts to move and you find you've got more willpower. And then you can commit that willpower to going deeper and you get still more energy. You know, you get a forward feedback loop, basically going positive feedback loop going in your system. And that starts to move you up and take you out of the stuckness that you may have been in living in, you know, and it can be an amazing journey, an amazing journey. And it's also suitable if you're in a bit of a crisis or you're really stuck at the time, something like that. And you just need something to really move your energy. And it also doesn't really matter if you haven't done bio before, if you haven't done body-based therapy before, it's not so important. The only thing where I'd say it's good to get in touch with me first is if you have any significant psychi psychiatric, actual diagnosed psychiatric history or major physical limitations, you know, then do just drop me a line. Uh, you can find my email address below and just, just to check in to make sure this workshop will be suitable for you. Uh, so that's that's the only thing I would say. How about you, Abby? What will you be bringing to this, this workshop? Thank you. Um, well, um, I'm very happy to uh, to go with the structure that we we set up together. Um, I've done few you know few workshops like that, and uh, I see that they really they really works for people, and people wants more uh, wants more to work with the body. When I give session here for the training, for example, for the daily life training. Uh, I can see that there is there is a thirst for uh, a different type of work, a work that uh, allows you to drop your minds on a side, as we said, and and really get in touch with the body and work from that space, from that space. For me, as you said, it's um. What what was very beneficial for me working with Bioenergetic and what I really see in my day to day life actually, I could see the more I practice, the more I feel confident in my life. You know, I feel I can speak up for myself. I can stand up in front of a group of people, and uh, I don't feel threatened. I don't feel. I can feel my belly, I can feel my body. And once I feel that, I feel safe. There is a sense of safety in this um, cultivating the sensation in my body, and which I haven't had before. I haven't had that, that I, I didn't feel that safety. I didn't feel that confidence within myself. And I was trying to figure it out like by, I don't know, learning some technique about like public speaking you know and then I realized that actually I didn't need that it was just about feeling my belly feeling my feet while I was standing there trying to deliver a message trying to deliver my a knowledge or whatever I wanted to share so that's what I, something I, I wanted to to say because there are, you can get into a workshop like that for many reasons as you said like it can be a bit of a crisis I started bioenergetics because I was pretty much depressed so there was there was the level of energy in my body was very very low and it wasn't working with talking therapy because I needed to move my body I needed to create that 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 flow again in my body so it, you can get into this workshop for many reasons, um, because you want to gain more confident in your life, because you want to be more proactive, because you want to you you don't want to feel stuck anymore, because you want to I don't know improve your career or being able to set up your boundaries in your relationship. There could be many reasons, and uh, this and the body has the answers for all of it. 
that's what I feel to say. The body has the answer. The body has a major role in all this area of our life, you know, that the mind took over it, over it. Actually, it's a role of the body to feel confident. It's the role of the body to feel safe. It's a role of the body to feel I can go through my life and make the choices that are healthy for me, you know. And uh, I think a workshop like this will really help people to, to let the body take that role again in your life. You know, so um, that's what I, I'm passionate about. That what that's what I I would like to bring into this workshop, helping people to feel more confident, feel safe in their body, feel they can manage. You know, they can manage their day to day life, their present with more spontaneity, with more. Um, with with like less charge from the past and more present presence in the moment that's that's my goal that's what i would like to deliver uh with with this uh work with this workshop yeah mm. cool great hey wonderful hearing you speak wonderful mm -hmm. so this workshop's coming up, I think it's June 13th to 16th, I believe, Thursday to Sunday. Uh, it's priced yeah. at 350 British pounds. That's something a little bit over $400. That's fully residential, uh, including dorm. And there are, you know, uh, private rooms available if you book. Uh, don't wait too long to book at a, at a supplement. Uh, so it includes all food and food and dorm. And it's going to be an awesome long weekend. So if you have any questions, if you're interested, but you've got a few questions, uh, do reach out uh, in the email below. And I'll be very happy to speak to you about this workshop. But me and Abby are looking forward to welcoming you. We're going to have an awesome weekend. So thank you very much. Thank you, Devaraj. And see you soon. Cheers. See you guys Cheers. soon. Thank you. Bye.